restaurant, but they only use the payroll part of the application. So what they did is, is we took time to understand their requirements and learned what they really needed to simplify and modernize uh, was the import process. As such, a GUI was developed and using this technology that displayed only the fields that they required in an order that was logical to their own processes. In addition to improving accuracy and speed, application take-up was quicker than previous, while business protected a huge investment in the software, which could have cost them hundreds and thousands to replace. But it's not just using uh, or, or modernizing a, uh, a process that already exists on the system. In some cases, you'll have all the data on the database, but we'll want to create a new application using that data. So we use this software in-house too. So should you become a customer of ours, you will have access to KIT, which is our Keep in Touch customer support system. Here you can add tickets, you can search for knowledge base or view information pertinent to yourselves. In fact, if I, if I quit out of this presentation, I'll, uh, I'll take you through that. Okay, uh, I'll wait till the uh, browser catches up with me. Ah, here we are. So this is, uh, this is running Internet Explorer. And I'll log into Kit. I'll hit return there. Again, I'm not on a wired connection, so it's taking a little longer for, for it to refresh on your screen. There's my login. I click on sign on, and I'm in. OK, wait for it to catch up. And you should be able to see my input. So now, what we spoke about earlier with graphics and uh, uh, text being variable is exactly what's been uh, done here. So in this particular case, uh, my logo here could change depending upon uh, who was logged in. So if it was a customer, perhaps it would display their logo. Welcome, as you see again in the top left-hand corner of the Explorer. It shows my name and the last time that I was logged in. And all this information that I'm scrolling through on the scroll bar, waiting for it to catch up on the browser there, see me move down and down, is running live from the database. So this instance, this browser technology, this show me instance is analyzing the information and allowing me to view information pertinent only to me because of security sessions live over the database. So let's have a look and I'll drill down to a, uh, a certain level. Let me go to the control panel. Wait for it to refresh. OK, now I have, may have many tickets here that are assigned to myself. But really, all I want to see is all those instances that are attributed to show me. So what we have down there is a filter. And I can filter down that list. So I want to say there, I want to the filter the product list to equal. And this is, again, drop down menus and everything that you can add to your own applications. And I'll say, show me. Click on OK, and it filters all of those tickets to view only those items. Again, I must stress, this is running live over our own database, and this system, our customer support system, is open to, well, all our customer bases, many people logged on at the same time. So I can drill down from here. I mean, I can see that this ticket is waiting assignment, uh, but I can drill down and view the ticket itself. I can put helpful uh, window items on there, too. I can drill down to that. I'll click on it. OK, and there we go. It really is. <laughs> it's fantastic. It really is. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so, but it just goes to show what we can do uh, with this kind of technology, from intelligence to interrogation to filtering to portals to application development for modernization. It really is a terrific solution for all those needs using a very lightweight but extremely secure with all the back end, everything that we're passing from the database to the browser. To the